In this video, I'm going to talk about how to install the Dia browser, okay, the Dia software. Now, Dia is a comparable drawing tool compared with Visio. So the first thing we need to do to install Via is we need to go to the Via distribute or the Dia distribution site. Now, your instructor is going to give you the exact link for this, but it is HTTP forward slash forward slash dia installer dot de okay so again that's dia dash installer dot de now this is goes to the dia diagram site just grab the free download that's right there okay grab the free installer And it's going to take you to SourceForge. This is normal. Your install will start on its own shortly. Okay, once the, once the download starts, okay, you're going to see a transferring data down here at the bottom. And you're going to get, do you want to save this file? Now, some browsers will like ask you to open it. I always just recommend you save it. I don't ever recommend that you want to um, just let things run on a Windows machine. So... Let it save, okay, once it's completely downloaded, okay, however your browser tells that, look at it in the file area, okay, and you'll have a DIA setup, double-click DIA setup. Now, you're going to get a security on this. Do you want to continue installing? The answer is yes. Okay, we know the website it came from. It's safe to do. Make sure you select English as your primary language or you're going to have some issues on support and stuff like that so let's go ahead and get rid of all the extra windows we want to select english we're going to go ahead and set through okay um don't select python plugins if you don't have python installed python is a developer's language for your computer don't select that okay and we just want to let it install in its default location and this install is not long at all, so I'm going to let the video continue. Oh, just so you know, while this is doing, you can get Dia for the Mac. You can get Dia for Linux. Um, and I believe you can get Dia for the Chromebook as well. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and say run Dia when it's finished. Because I just want to make sure it starts and runs. Okay, and I am going to show you how to put the icon on your desktop as soon as it starts. Because we do want to save it as a favorite so you can go ahead and get it. Down here on the bottom, you can see the little Dia, um, the Dia little icon. We're going to right click on that and I'm going to pin it to the taskbar. In other words, it's always going to be there. So now when I exit out of it, it's still there. Just click on it to come back into it. Okay, when you bring it up first, you're going to have your um, your screen. Okay, starts with a diagram one. Before you do anything, I would suggest you learn where the tools are. Okay, you have diagram properties, diagram tree, different types of objects you have available. Um, and there's a whole bunch of additional tools that we can have in here. Okay, and what's available and stuff like that. So, um where that's your installation once it's there it's it's all set for you go ahead in here and you can change some of your program defaults we want our units to be in inches okay font size points is what we normally do um diagram defaults portrait size change your paper type from a4 to letter Okay, because again, A4 is a European paper size. You want to change it to letter. Okay, snap to object is nice because it keeps things in a nice, nice straight line. Okay, we're going to do page breaks are visible. We're going to have favorites, grid lines on. Okay, again, I'm going to use snap to. It makes it much easier. And um, we can go ahead and save hidden diagram types. So when you have that all said and done, click apply, okay, and then okay. Now when you look at Dia here, do you see the little, the 15, the blue lines, your blue heavier lines are your page breaks, okay? So this is blown up pretty high right now. 
these are all in inches. So if you want to work with a full screen, okay, you can come over here and you can you can start pulling it up and stuff like that. So again, just just know where your brakes are, know where everything like that is. Play around with it a little bit before the first time you start to use this. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about getting you started on a flowchart.